surgical hand disinfection. For a long time, washing hands before the surgical hand disinfection was considered as an indisputable part of the pre-operative routine. But according to the latest information and recommendations, the effectiveness of hand washing before any intervention is discussed as it takes place at the expense of skin protection. According to the findings, hand washing should only take place after entering the operating theatre for the first time and after going to the toilet. It serves to clean the hands from visible soiling as well as spores from the ubiquitous germ spectrum. The washing area should be provided with a hand disinfectant, washing lotions and towel dispenser. Washing the forearms and hands takes place with a mild washing lotion. Excessively hot water should not be used in order not to additionally burden the skin. If nails are cut short like prescribed, it's not necessary to brush your nails. Soft, lint-free disposable towels made of fleece or paper provided by a dispenser should be used due to the risk of decontamination. This way, they should be protected against splashes from water and dust. Surgical hand disinfection must be performed before any operation. In contrast to hygienic hand disinfection, in which transient bacterial flora foreign to the skin should be reduced, a reduction of resident bacterial flora must be achieved during the surgical hand disinfection. This entails a longer application time compared to hygienic hand disinfection. Pursuant to European Standard 12791, the rubbing method and application time of surgical hand disinfection is referred to and the application times according to manufacturer's specifications apply. According to that, Schulke's hand disinfectants with an application time of one and a half minutes are to be used for surgical hand disinfection pursuant to European Standard 12791. Shorter application times are not useful due to the rubbing method because the proper technique also requires a certain time. Sequence Start with the disinfection of the forearms and rub the disinfectant in. Then follow the elbow down to the wrist with adequate hand disinfectant so that a complete wetting is ensured. The product is removed from the dispenser by manipulating it with the elbows. In turn, remove an adequate quantity of disinfectant with the elbow for disinfecting hands and forearms. Make sure that the areas of skin are completely wetted for one and a half minutes. The scheme with the six steps for orientation is helpful so that you can reach all areas of skin on hands and forearms. It serves as support. However, the sequence of steps is not decisive. It's important that the hands and forearms are kept moist with the preparation for the entire application time. Frequent weak points during the wetting are the spaces between fingers, thumbs, fingertips and parts of the back of the hand. While rubbing in hands and forearms as well as afterwards, make sure that the hands are kept above of the elbow level so that the disinfectant can run down towards the elbows. This way you can ensure that all areas of forearms and hands are kept moist for one and a half minutes. Before surgical gowns and gloves are put on, make sure that the skin is completely dry, otherwise skin irritations might occur due to the hands being moistened with alcohol inside of the gloves.